everyone, Mango7 Roll here. How are we doing today? Welcome to another episode of Epic 7. And today we're going to talk a little bit about Ray, who was coming out today. There is going to be no maintenance, so uh, keep that in mind as well. And we're just going to talk about whether or not you should summon for him. And I'm kind of going to combine like a mini semi guide for him at the same time, just because I don't want to like spread it out into a ton of different videos and make you watch a ton of different things. Um, so first off, let's just take a look at Ray and uh, talk about him a little bit before we get into things. So as we look at Ray's stats here, we have him at 700 attack, 4450 HP. That's a big oof. Uh, 110 speed, 655 defense, uh, and then a little minimal everything else except for that 30% ER. He's then got the 13% uh, back attack uh, imprint release, which is great. And he has a self imprint for health percent, which isn't the greatest with his base health. I think it works that way. Um, as for his abilities here, his skill one has a uh, heal you by throwing a bottle at them with dispelling a debuff. Okay. Uh, extreme remedies, as it's called. Uh, his skill two here recovers health, grants a barrier for two turns, and uh, the barrier strength increases proportionate to the ally's max health, not Ray's max health. And invigorates, uh, dispels all debuffs, inflict or grants immunity for two turns before also recovering health. Uh, and this is also proportionate to the ally's max HP. So this skill as well will dispel your heal block before it heals. So you will get that heal as well off, which is fantastic. Um, as for this skill set, it is obviously pretty solid. Uh, it, it's going to be pretty great for both PvE and PvP. It's very similar to a couple other units we have already bundled into one, like um, DJ Bissar without the CR boost, like Angelica, like uh, Destina um, with actual speed. Uh, and again, I've mentioned this before, but he's 21 speed, base speed faster than uh, Destina is. So that is a pretty massive thing. And if we take a look here over at Destina, uh, we can see... That Destina is a very comparable unit sitting here with her. Uh, nope, that's her skin. With her stats, uh, we can go up here with 6k base HP versus his 4450. So she has 1500 uh, base HP more. The defense is also like 75 more, I think, as well. But the speed, the speed is 21 less, and also the ER is 30% base less. And another thing you have to remember. Not only is somebody going to be faster like Ray, uh, 21 speed faster than Destina, they're also going to get the speed bonus of 25% more. So that 21% speed faster isn't actually 21 speed, it's actually about 26 speed instead, because you're going to be using a speed set on Ray uh, the vast majority of the time, I think. But keep in mind, his HP is extraordinarily low. If we take a look at Tamarin here, somebody famous for very low HP, She's got 4370 and she's right on the line of uh, whether you should use HP percent or flat HP. So Ray is going to be somebody else who's also pretty much right on the line on uh, being okay to use flat HP, which is both a really good thing and a really bad thing. Obviously, it's bad because um, lower HP is bad, but it does allow you to use gear that not a lot of other people can use. So let's go back into here and talk a little bit more. We've got the doctor's bag, and this is a weird artifact for me. Having it only activate once per battle is just such an odd thing to me. Um, I feel like it wouldn't be too overpowered if it was like three times a battle or infinite per battle. Like, I feel like that's not too big of a problem. Um, one thing to note with this artifact is I don't think it's something you use on just anybody for any reason. I think it's going to be one of those things where you end up using it very specifically for very specific things. Maybe it's used for a um, Banshee one-shot style thing in the future. Maybe you, you happen to need it on the third turn and that's why you use it. There's a lot of potential uses for this bag, but I don't think it's going to be something you're going to want to use like on a regular uh, occurrence. So that's uh, an artifact I'm not really too stoked about summoning. So as for whether or not you should summon for this, and I talk about the rest of the stuff, but it's just his side story here. Uh, as for whether or not you should summon for uh, your Ray, I honestly think the answer is no. And there are a couple reasons. One, um, let's just get it out of the way. If he's Husbando for you, just go for it. Uh, it's hard to pass out Husbandos and Waifus. 
But in general, the main reason is there are so many alternatives to Ray already that a lot of us probably already have Mulagor. And these uh, alternatives are people like Destina is kind of like a direct alternative. There's also Angelica. There's also, um, who else did we mention? DJ Bassar. And then there's alternatives that fit his spot, don't necessarily do exactly what he does, like Montmorency. There's just so many alternatives you can be using and have probably already used that I, I can't recommend summoning for him. I'm not saying he's going to be worse than those units. He's probably going to be better. But for me, for example, I have a plus nine Destina. There's just no way I can invest nine more Molagora into somebody who's just um, maybe more than marginally better, but still it's just the same slot. And it's not like an overpowered unit that I plan to use for a lot of things. And therefore the Molagora, I just cannot afford it right now. If I had access to more Molagora, or uh, I was able to really use things with without all these debuffs or all these buffs here, uh, I would probably summon for him, to be honest. But right now, um, if I am to summon for him, I'm going to get this minus one cooldown, and that's it. So I'm missing out on 25% healing. And from what I understand, his, uh, his ratios aren't too great, so you're going to really need that healing. And I'm also going to be missing out on, like, 20... Um, 30, 40, 50% barrier enhanced too. It's just not something I can realistically do. And also combined with the artifact being something I'm just not okay with, this is just a character I think we should pass on uh, for more reasons than just him. And speaking of more reasons than just Ray, we do have Summer coming soon. And uh, there's this thing in Summer called boobs. Um, so I, I expect to see uh, swimsuits and boobs and, you know, butts and stuff like that. That's coming. There's no way it doesn't come. If it doesn't come, then uh, they just don't like money, which is not really a thing. So I fully expect to get uh, some sort of summer, uh, some sort of summer. That's a cool line. Some sort of rerun and or event to do with summer relatively soon. I would say within the next month or so. Um, and also combining with that, this is in no way a confirmation. I'm not saying they're coming back, blah, blah, blah. But I would also expect SSB to be coming back as well. So for the people who didn't get SSB, you might want to get that. Also, um, I would rather summon for dupes of SSB and Seaside or, and uh, the drink, Rengar's uh, special drink, over uh, a single ray. So that's another thing to consider as well on top of everything else. But anyways, uh, let's talk about how to gear ray and uh, maybe we can get a good idea. So with Ray, I'm gonna be wanting to go pretty much as fast as possible to get that immunity up and all sorts of other things. Uh, I'm not even sure who I can use as a kind of guide to get close to his stats because just like nobody, nobody has that base speed. Uh, who's a faster? Let's use Tamarin actually. We're gonna use Tamarin. Tamarin's probably the closest uh, if only because she has a very similar base HP. So if I am going to be uh, building Ray, I'm going to absolutely want a speed set. You're going to want to get that 26 speed from the speed set. That is ridiculously insane. Um, so I would just put on a speed set here. I wouldn't mind either flat HP or HP percent as a sub. If you're going to be using Ray in uh, pvp situations you're gonna really want to get his defenses up just a little like not enough to just get super bullied uh but also for pve you shouldn't need that too much so i'd focus on speed more than anything else for pvp or for pve uh i don't think his counter set would be worth doing because he's got the dispel on his skill when i just rather have the speed so let's just put on uh, a piece of gear with a decent amount of stats. This one has flat health, which is obviously pretty decent on him. And it's got a huge amount of defense and he doesn't have super low base defense. So that is fantastic. Um, you can also try to go into the resistance range because he does have that 30% base. Uh, so maybe I would do something like this. Um, unfortunately, the effectiveness there is not something I am super interested in. So maybe there is something else. Let's search by this, see if we can get like a resistance set in here. Uh, it's not looking like it. So let's just throw this on here. Um, this has defense, HP, effect resistance, and speed. As for the ring, you're gonna want one of three stats, I believe. One is going to be percent HP, uh, but I would honestly keep your percent HP for your people that get more out of it. If you happen to have a flat HP piece of gear, 
that's uh, better. That's something I would use instead. Unfortunately, 34% crit damage is not exactly something that he's interested in. But something like this would be fantastic. We've got 2765 base HP, 18% health, and 10 speed. So this is like a pretty solid piece of gear for somebody like him. It also has a defense set, which is going to be okay as well. Uh, immunity might be great too, but you can't fit immunity on everybody if, unless you have the nutso gear. Um, we can also try as a third stat, effect resistance, if we have decent substats to go with it. So you're going to want like a decent amount of flat HP or a good amount of HP percent as well to go with it just because he's going to need that bulk um, or just a huge amount of speed if that's the way you want to go as well. Uh, but I would prefer honestly the flat HP with some speed here too. As for the top, we're going for the same sort of stats. We're looking for either HP. Um, defense percent is actually something you can do as well if you're interested uh, because his HP Heals do scale off the uh, target heals, so he doesn't need the huge max HP to be able to uh, heal as much as he can. So that's something you can do for the ring as well. Uh, but I would still prefer HP percent or the flat HP with a bunch of uh, speed substats here. So let's just use, uh, I don't think I have any flat HP next, but let's just use a speed set with HP percent here. And uh, something like this would be pretty solid. We've obviously uh, got 18 speed, a little ridiculous. And flat HP here to make him a little bit tankier. Um, but maybe we want to go a little more effect resistance here. Obviously, this one is better, but this one might be more in line with a lot of other people's gear. So we'll go with that. As for the chest here, we're looking for basically the same stats we can expect here. HP, flat HP, effect resistance, and speed are the ones we're going for. Um, so let's just toss uh, Rowanas on there because I know it has a decent amount of effect resistance. Uh, as for the helm here, again, the exact same thing as everything else. Let's just toss in a defense helm. This one has a little bit of everything here. Not the greatest because we're missing um, a little bit of tankiness. And obviously we are missing that speed. But I don't have the best options here. So we're just going to stick with that. And as for the weapon, typical speed weapon or whatever weapon we're looking for speed. We're looking for HP percent, flat HP. We can't get defense on the weapon as well. So let's just throw this on here. Obviously a ridiculous weapon, but it is what it is. So this is approximately what mine would look like. And it would be faster than this because I believe he's faster base speed than the um, Tamarin here. I think Tamarin's like 107. I might be completely off base there. Um, but we also have 73 ER here. And with Ray, he's going to have that innate 30%. So this would be 103% ER here. We'd be fast. We'd be tanky enough with a little bit of defense maybe his defense would be a little too low but there's not really any way i can fix that with my setup considering i have a defense set as well so yeah um that's gonna be it for now talking about ray here as for his artifact that's something i'm really gonna have to play with he's got a ton of options obviously uh if he's not healing enough with his skill two skill three rod of amaryllis might be something you need i don't think wondrous potion is something you're gonna want um you could also try out the uh, Magahara's Tome, trying to get his CR up there as much as he can. You could also try Shamadra's Staff to get his ER up there, and, or everybody's ER up there. There's a ton of different options, and that's something I can't say for sure until I really test them out. But unfortunately, I can't test them out for you because Molagoras and Resources. By the way, this is quite possibly some of the brokest I've ever been. Let's take a look at my resources here. I have... One Sky Stone, two Covenant Bookmarks, 44 Mystic Medals, two Galaxy Bookmarks, no Gold, and I think I'm out of Leafs as well. I might have got a couple Leafs overnight, but uh, I'm basically out of everything. I have two Leafs, so we are in big, big out of everything mode. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe as always, and I'll talk to you folks later. I hope you get lucky with your Ray, and if you summon for him and like him, let me know in the description below here. Uh, I don't know why I say description. You can't talk there in the comments, and I will talk to you later. Bye, everybody.